years ago, a man's fantasy became reality. In a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. But this man has even bigger dreams. Yes, he is on a quest to see and experience more from around the world. In Paris. In Beijing. in Hong Kong and other exotic locales. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring and how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, Princess Sita is the granddaughter of Rama IV, the king portrayed in The King and I. We have found a woman who has learned royal Thai cuisine from the princess herself. She now runs a cooking class to introduce formal Thai cuisine to Japan. Katsuyo Kobayashi was once a student of hers. Meanwhile, she has been acting as advisor to many famous Thai restaurants in Tokyo, such as Tetis and the Rice Terrace. I just had to invite her to my kitchen stadium. A missionary of royal Thai cuisine to Japan, food critic Miyoko Sakai. She first went to Bangkok with her husband, who was assigned to the Japanese embassy. While learning the language, she attended cooking schools and college courses to learn everything about Thai food. At a gathering to taste a full course dinner and royal Thai delicacies, she met Princess Sita. The princess became very fond of Sakai and started to give her private lessons. After returning to Japan, Sakai published many books while teaching her own classes. She is now the prominent name in Thai cuisine in Japan. Sakai's dishes are a harmony of spiciness, sweetness, and sourness. She follows the royal path of Princess Sita's recipes. And this time, Sakai chooses to challenge the Iron Chef Italian with her royal techniques. Hearing the rumor, my longtime friend, the ambassador of Thailand, has offered to attend and oversee the battle. From the royal box, of course. So now, Sakai, grace us with the wonders you have learned from Her Excellency, the Princess of Thailand. I want the viewers to experience how wonderful real Thai cuisine is.
日はタイの駐日大使ご夫妻をお招きしどうもようこそようこそこの場にぴったりの挑戦者を選んでみましたタイのプリンセス直伝の正統派王宮料理を日本に伝える挑戦さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えくださいタイ料理研究家坂井美代子 Now making her entrance into Kitchen Stadium is Miyoko Sakai, attired in a formal Thai dress. She's learned everything about Thai royal cuisine from Thailand's Princess Sita. And with Thailand's ambassador to Japan and Mrs. Ambassador looking on, this should be a fascinating battle today. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. I am nervous. タイ料理の一番の魅力は何でしょう。The flavor is wonderful and it is a healthy food.、うん、私も大好き。Thank you。どうぞ頑張ってください。Thank you、えー。それでは今日あなたの戦う鉄人を取り取ります。Yes。呼び上げアイアンシェフ。Ascending into Kitchen Stadium is Iron Chef Italian Masahiko Kobe. Trained at Enoteca Pinchiotti, Italy's top cooking academy, he never fails to draw raves for his culinary adventures. With his sophisticated techniques, he's always looking to expand his horizons. But today, how does the Prince of Pasta contend against recipes from the Thai royal family? Thai no, Chunich Thai Shimo, Shishoku Sur, Kyo no Tatakai. So, the Kongai wa, O Q Liori de Mo, Himpan ni Mochi Rare, Thai de no. 最高級シーフードにしてみましたそれでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマは渡りがいはい。These blue crabs are from the waters near Fukuoka Prefecture, down in Kyushu, the southern island of Japan. Okay, and I see that some of the crabs have already been declawed, but others aren't, and the Iron Chef's first order of business here to battle the crabs. And now over on the challenger side, Sakai here is using... Okay, she's、uh, using the stems of lemongrass. Lemongrass stems, and she's put them into a deep tray of hot water. Miyoko Sakai, a missionary of royal Thai cuisine in Japan. And up in the royal box are the Thai ambassador to Japan and his wife, here to watch this battle involving the cuisine of their country. Mr. and Mrs. Ambassador. Fukuzan? Yes. I have some comments here from the ambassador about today's theme ingredient, blue、uh -huh. crab. He says, blue crab is my favorite. I'm looking forward to the tasting portion of the show. Good luck to both chefs. All right, thanks, Ota. Now let's introduce our guests for today's blue crab battle. Next to me, last time she was here was for the bamboo shoots battle. We have actress Kayoko Kishimoto. Thanks for coming in. Hello, nice to be here. Kishimoto san, Thai food. What's the first thing you think of? Tom Yong Kun. Thai hot and sour soup. Anything else?、Uh, nothing else, sorry. <laughs> Tom Yam Kun's the only Thai food you know? Yeah. Actually, it's ranked as one of the world's top three. That's all I know, yeah. Well, you'll find out more today. Okay. And also with us, his first time to be here from Jeff United, soccer player Nobuhiro Takeda. Welcome to the show. Nice to be here. One sport they have in Thailand is kickboxing. Sometimes you guys、yes. do that out on the soccer field, right? <laughs> anyway, you've been to Thailand before? Yes, for matches quite a few times. So, Takeda san, you know a little bit about Thai food? 
Yes, I like the food. Okay, glad you're here. Thanks for having me. So for today's battle, we have Kishimoto and Takeda as our strikers <laughs> and our goalie, Doc Hattori. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Expert Kuzan. commentator, Yukio Hattori. Yes. The list of ingredients that the Iron Chef has in this pot is a short one. He has garlic, olive oil, and of course, chopped blue crab. Okay, and as you can see, the blue in there. Okay, I think he's working on soup here. Okay, a soup already in yeah, the early crab stage. soup, I'm thinking. And this is the broth being made for that. This could be the soup itself, actually. Oh. See the pot? It's quite big, right? Okay, big pot, so it could be the soup. Okay, now look at this. The challenger is working on, this is called ka. It's a type of ginger, Thai ginger. They call it ka over there. All right, and we'll see what she does with this. So our challenger, Sakai, well-versed in royal cuisine, Thai royal cuisine. So we'll look for some luxurious dishes today. Yeah, it's going to be some sophisticated stuff out there. To enjoy for sure. Now, back to the Iron Chef's side. Doc says this will be a soup, zuppe in Italian. Zuppa. Oh, zuppa. <laughs> hey, you don't have to laugh so hard. I'm going to have to ask the guys to edit this part out. Fukuizan? <laughs> yes. I asked the Iron Chef his opinion on Thai food, and he said Thai food usually has a strong coriander aroma to it. He says, I do like Thai food, but some of it is just too hot. Yeah. Some like it hot, some don't, and if you don't like herbs, maybe it comes on too strong. How about you, Kishimoto-san? Oh, I like them, yeah. And you, Takeda-san? Um, not so. <laughs> not so fond of them, huh? Right. right. Okay. Kuzan? Yes. The challenger responded to Iron Chef Kobe's comments, claiming that Thai food is too hot. She says, there are three types of cuisine. Uh, royal cuisine, indigenous food, and home cooking. Royal cuisine is very mild so that the huh. king won't perspire when he's eating it, and so it's just right for the Japanese palate. Huh, didn't know that. Yeah, it's a very sophisticated, delicate type of food. So you're not reaching for a cold one while you're eating. <laughs> okay. Oh, the eggs look good. Crabs from the challenger side here. Oh, oh boy, look yeah, look at that. They're alive. <laughs> Watch out, careful. Okay, now right now during this season, they're ready to lay eggs, so the eggs are on the outside. All right, and they're still trying to hold off the inevitable, these guys. <laughs> oh, okay, I see some gelatin noodles here. This is called harusame in Japanese. Right, and this is a common ingredient in Thai dishes. Yeah, they're called unsen. It's quite popular. And into a bowl, so perhaps maybe a seafood That's stew? That's what it looks like, okay. yeah. Okay, unsen Fukuzan. noodles going in, yes. In this pot, the challenger has those noodles, and underneath those, sesame oil, salad oil, and chopped crab. Okay, got it. And the Iron Chef now has rolled out the pasta machine and is rolling his own pasta-wise. Crab with the shell in pasta, maybe a bear to handle, but it does taste great. Fukuzan? Yes. Into that earthen pot, the small one we saw the challenger using earlier, she yes. has added crab eggs. Okay, the eggs went there. Okay, yeah, she was doing that. But what's she pouring in here right now? Hmm. Fukuzan? Go ahead. Let me update you on the ingredients again. Okay. The challenger has added sesame oil, salad oil, chopped crab, gelatin noodles, crab eggs, pepper, Thai seasoning, Thai soy sauce, and oyster sauce. All right, and something else went in there, too. Okay, so pak chi, or coriander, on okay. top. Okay, and now... Yes, we're starting Kuzan? to smell a very nice aroma over here. Go ahead, Ota. I asked the challenger how she feels cooking in front of the Thai ambassador and his wife, and she said it makes me really nervous, but I'm going to do my best to show everyone the world of Thai royal cuisine that Princess Sita has taught me. All right. And take a look. Very colorful. Some of the flora and fruits of Thailand brightening up Kitchen Stadium and decorative motifs in place for today's battle. Yeah, if you look at the carving techniques, I think these are some of the best in the world. Now, these here are made from vegetables and fruit. Huh? Just look at that. Wow. It's amazing. Unbelievable from vegetables. Yeah, like this one right here, that's made from carrots, and the one below it is from pumpkin. Amazing. Thailand. We are blessed today to enjoy the atmosphere of royal Thai cuisine and the food, too. Oh, look at this, green papaya. Now, they use this quite a bit oh, in Thailand. So this eventually turns into the color of the papaya we know? Right, yeah. mm. Yes. I asked the challenger once again about her stewed type uh, dish in the pot, and uh -huh. she said it's a very popular dish at her cooking class. People may think that royal cuisine is complex and that only royal chefs can make it, but she says I'm choosing some simple dishes that anyone can prepare at home. Back to you. Okay, so Miyoko Sakai doing her best to promote Thai cuisine in Japan. It has become popular in recent years, especially in Tokyo. And now, back to the Iron Chef, okay. hand twisting. Yeah, I remember this is a pasta, and he's twisting it in his hands. He did this in another battle at one time, didn't he? Yeah, not? it's been a while, though. Now, this is called trofie. Well, no shake and bake for him. He's doing the Italian twist. 
Okay, now if we can get a look at what the Challenger has pulled out over here. Okay. Right here, this is a mortar, a stone mortar. Hmm. And it's a must-have item at Thai Homes. They use it for pretty much every season that they have. Okay, just like in Japan, we use earthenware for the same purposes. And she's got some chili peppers in there. I guess she'll ground up. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Okay, now over to the Iron Chef. Some type of fruit or vegetable put into the pressure cooker. Yeah, it looks like rings of something. Okay, they the lid goes on and it's being snapped down. Fukuizan? Yes. They are winter melon slices. Okay, oh, winter okay. melon rings. That's it. Winter melon slices into the pressure cooker. And Fukuizan? He continues to twist. Go ahead. I asked Iron Chef Kobe why he's making the same pasta he made when he was making his debut, and he said, because I think this would be the best way to hmm. enjoy the flavor of the crab, okay. and I have confidence in this pasta dish. I can't afford to make any mistakes with the ambassador watching. Ever the diplomat himself, and that's it. He made this type of pasta in his Squeeze debut on. match. Yes. Sorry to interrupt. The assistants for the Challenger have been removing crab meat from the shelves for quite some time now. They just made the comment that they've been doing this for over 15 minutes, oh. and they're really starting to dislike these crabs. <laughs> well, they're getting a little crabby right now. 15 minutes hunched over the crabs. But come tasting time, I'm sure everyone on the panel will appreciate all the fine effort put forth by these guys. Keep it up, okay? Yeah, it's going to be a good thing for the tasters not have to deal with the shells. That gets a little monotonous. Yes, now the Iron Chef, he has just one assistant taking care of business. Hey, it's a dirty job, but uh, <laughs> but the designated crab meat collector's really into it there, and it looks like a shell-free zone. Yes. I inquired of the Iron Chef about his tactics today, considering they don't use this crab in Italian cuisine, and he mm -hmm. said he's going to employ recipes that usually call for scampi prawns or other shellfish. Okay, oh. seafood item, Italian cuisine, he'll figure something out, trying to stretch his winning streak to four. And for cuisine? Yes. This paste that the Iron Chef is handling right now contains cornstarch, olive oil, crab meat, and crab brains. And you said cornstarch? Yeah, that's right. So maybe crackers, crab crackers? I guess they'll be smart ones, huh? Uh, I've never seen anything like that, though. All right, right now it's in one piece, and he is moving toward the oven. Is it going in? Okay, yes, he's going to slip it in the oven. Go ahead. Referring to her poor assistants taking up a lot of time getting the meat out of the crab shells, the challenger says it's essential in royal cuisine to make it easier for the king to eat. Some of the meat huh. will be going back into the shells later, huh? and I feel sorry for them, but they must hang in there, she says. What? Take the meat out of the shell, cook it, then put it back in? Oh, my, what a lot of work. Okay, now I'm seeing crab meat and what is this, potatoes? Hmm, looks like it. What do we have here? Could be. Some on. fried potatoes. Go ahead. What you're seeing here is crab meat and pickled daikon radish called takuan. Ah, oh, pickles. Okay. Okay. Yes, pickled daikon. Can't blame you, Doc. Look just like potatoes right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of wondering how this is going to work in Thai royal food, though, with daikon. Okay, halfway through. Go ahead, Ota. I asked the challenger about the takuan, or pickled daikon, and she said it's widely used in Thai food. Both Japanese and Thai pickled radish are quite a bit alike. Mm. Hmm. Something mm. in common, Thai and Japanese food. Now, swinging back to the Iron Chef. Okay, now he steamed that. Yes, the winter Fukuzan. melon rings. Yes. In the top part of this uh, cooker is the winter melon, and the lower part contains garlic, olive oil, chopped blue crab, onions, red pepper, tomatoes, and what they call sambuca. Sambuca? Yes, huh? it's a sweet liquor, he said. Okay, yeah, a sweet it's a, liquor. It's a liqueur almost. All right, and we're looking at a soup here, I guess. Crab soup with winter melon. Some of the ingredients being caught in the strainer there. Well, Isn't the winter melon a bit big? <laughs> actually, I think he's making them to absorb the flavors, hence the size. Okay, now back to the challenger and some egg. Yeah, going using into crab that eggs there. Okay. Mm. Maybe crab meatballs? Fukuisan? Yes. The ingredients the challenger has in her bowl are as follows. She has ground pork, boiled crab meat, onions, black pepper, and egg all minced together. Okay, well, as far as I can make out here, this would be a mixture for some sort of meatball. Or maybe a crab cake. Now, back to the Iron Chef. Is this all the crab meat his designated crab meat collector came up with? Doesn't seem to be a lot there to go around. And now he's giving it a tender nudge or two right there, a pat on the pan. Huh. Oh, the eggs look really good. Go ahead. <laughs> In the Iron Chef's frying pan, he has 10 whole crabs worth of crab meat. Oh, you're kidding me. 10 this crabs? much with 10? Wow, 10 should be a lot. Wonder if he's planning to make a sauce with this for his pasta. At any rate, don't think there is enough here to go back into the shells. Fukuisan? <laughs> yes. Correction, make that 12 crabs worth. Huh? Two more? I thought there'd be two oh, less not there. much of a change. <laughs> okay, now look, she's stuffing onions here. Yes, one of Challenger Sakai's assistants here stuffing their sides mixture of crab meat and ground pork into the small onions. Stuffed onions going down next to some green and red peppers in that tray. 
Mm. But I have no idea here what type of dish they're working on. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I have no okay. idea. Okay. Uh, are these the papayas we saw before? Uh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thinly sliced papayas. green papayas, right. Okay, and she's been working with the stone pot. I don't know what's happen the there. Pot. <laughs> yes, Ota. As she said she would, the challenger is now putting some ingredients back into the crab shells. They are a mixture of garlic, red pepper, cherry tomatoes, steamed crab meat, lemon juice, green papaya, and nampla. All right, a salad, my guess, is some kind of variation of a green papaya salad. And yeah, you could be right there. Go yeah. ahead. Now one of the challenger's assistants is washing rice in ice water. Huh? Rice in ice? Rinsing rice in ice. Rice in ice. Okay, okay, Whoa. I get it. Now this is a traditional royal cuisine. Now, back in the days before air conditioning was uh, around, if I'm not mistaken, they will boil or steam the rice and serve it in ice water. They had this as a summer rice uh, food. Rice in ice, ice water? Rice? Yeah, they have that in, in Thai food. To go. Well, this will be another first for us. Yeah, it's a recipe, cow tea. Okay, and now here is the Iron Chef working with some very thin pasta and mayonnaise in the yeah, bowl, it looks yeah. like. Go ahead. Yes, the Iron Chef has mayonnaise and mustard in this bowl. Okay. Okay, so maybe this is like a lasagna. Huh. Oh. I could be wrong, but, you know, with the crab meat on top, could work. All right, well, there it is going on. Mm -hmm. Now, he could add the paste he was making on this, too. What? What do you mean? The, the paste added to this? You mean served as it is? No, I, I think what he'll do is grill mm. them. Oh, okay. All right, now here come avocado slices going down. Yeah, yeah, or he could serve this, as you say, like cold, like a terrine, one way or the other. You All know, right, well, at least looking at it right here, avocado oh, yeah. seems like a winning addition to this one. Now back to the challenger. Fukuisan? Yes. About the rice and ice dish that she was preparing, the challenger said in the past, ice was a very rare commodity in Thailand, so rice and ice was a luxury that the royal family used during the hot summer. Da Katori right on the mark once again. Oh, the <laughs> soup looks so good. Yeah, she was adding a lot of things to this. And there she takes a taste test and since this cooking's meant for the royal family common folk like mm. us couldn't even imagine <laughs> what it would taste like and here a replay of a flavoring she added okay, yes this is this jar contains something called chili in oil oh, okay chili in oil yeah it's red chili dipped in oil okay should be spicy and nampla, which is uh, like a fish soy sauce, per okay. se. Oh, right, okay. this one we've seen in Kitchen Stadium several times. At last, something that I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they actually have this at supermarkets in Japan nowadays. Yeah, I was getting lost seeing so many things I don't know. Well, it's a good thing that we have Dakatori here, though. Nampla <laughs> Thai fish sauce Fukuisan. on the store shelves now. Yes, Ota. Referring to his dish with avocados and crab, the Iron Chef told me that it will be like a cold lasagna. Of course, uh -huh. there's no recipe like this in standard Italian cuisine, but he's suggesting this as a summer ah, pasta dish. Okay, lasagna. Cold lasagna. Okay. It could work. Beat the heat. Yeah, well, this is a first for us. Hmm. We'll call it Kobe's Cool Lasagna. Takeda-san. Yes. Come on, get in here. What do you like best so far among the ones being prepared? Either side, tell us. I like avocados, so I'm going to say the lasagna. It looks refreshing. And you, Kishimoto-san? <gasps> that scared me. <laughs> Hold on, we're okay. Uh, the challenger's soup really? looks good. Yeah. Mm, it has so many different ingredients. Mm. Yes, the soup is looking good. Inset picture, close-up shot of it. Yeah, if she has prawns in it, it'll be like Tom Young Kun. Hmm. Right, yeah. So this will be Tom Young Poo. <laughs> Tom Young <guess>. Poo. <laughs> All right, and now to the Iron Chef's side. He's mixed rice and crab meat, apparently. Can see some tomatoes Fukuisan. in there, too. Let's get the lowdown out to go. This mixture from the Iron Chef is a combination of crab meat, rice, mozzarella, cheese, tomatoes, and eggs, and he's rolling them into balls and breading them with uh, breadcrumbs. Hmm. Back to you. Okay, this is a croquette. The mixture for Italian croquettes, Iron Chef variety. Yeah, it's uh, Alentino. With crab meat. Right, yeah. And now over to Challenger Sakai. Okay, now this is the one, the, the rice in, in ice water. Huh. Now she'll be pouring ice water over top of this. Okay, that's it. No flavor at all? Well... There's nothing? No flavor to the rice per se, but mm. there will be flavor added to the water. I, I can't exactly remember what it is that they're, they're going to add to it. We're going to have to wait and see, but there will be a, a flavor to the water. To yeah. Okay, ten minutes left. Okay, now look at the Challenger here. Flowers? Yeah, flowers, jasmine flowers. Okay. Yeah, okay, now I oh, see. Oh, it's going to go on the rice? Exactly, right, yeah. Well, what is the idea with this, Doc, floating? <laughs> well, she's floating the flowers on top of the mineral water, as you can see, not directly submerging them, right? Uh -huh. And she's trying oh, to add yeah. the fragrance of the flowers 
to the water. Now, usually what they do is they would be doing this and then kind of keeping it like this overnight. One wow. Night. Yeah. Unreal. So the water would have the fragrance of jasmine flowers. Now, royal cuisine requires time-consuming work like this. So Incredible preparation. Okay, but now, back on the Iron Chef side. Okay, now he's trying to create some sort of modern art with crabs. I don't know, one claw up, something. What is this? All right, there. I think these are the crab brains. Uh, he was sautéing them before. Right. Okay. And I hope for his sake he put something a little weightier onto that open shell. And now back on the challenger side, what a contrast. Look at these mm. steamed crabs yeah, here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, boy. Fukuisan? Yes. These on the plate are have been grilled, actually. Oh. The steamed ones have had the meat removed. All right, these are grilled. That's right. Okay. Okay, yeah, they, right. There are cracks in the back. You grilled see. crabs, they are. Yeah, well, needless to say, boy, grilled crabs, are they're wonderful. Taste great. Mm -hmm. And, Doc, this one looks done, too, right here. Okay, now, these have been steamed? Yes, the meatballs, I think, and the stuffed onions with some peppers. And the way she's setting them up there, looks like they'll be served with the rice in ice water. And we haven't certainly seen anything like that in Japan. Well, you know, we're talking royal Thai food here. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> sure are. All right, and that's mm -hmm. the set. But we're seeing many items that look like they'll taste refreshing and subtle. Well, yeah, royal cuisine is a little different from mm. regular Thai food. Yeah. Okay, now this is the... Soup. Okay, the soup. Tom Yam Poo. Yes, Tom Poo. And wonderful china it's being served in. That looks great. Oh, yeah. And now nice back style. to the Iron Chef Shukisan. side. Yes. In these crab shells, the Iron Chef has combined fatty oil, olive oil, crab meat, and gelatin. All right, so something weightier in there. guessing the salad here. Huh? This is salad? Yeah, he, well, he's got Alentino, right? All right, now... Here is the croquette just out of the frying pan, yeah, and so it's a match right there. Yeah, these would be hors d'oeuvres, antipasto in Italian. Okay, finally now we are starting to get a glimpse of what these dishes are going to look like when they're served. And now look at this oh, the soup challenger. into the melon. Yes, oh, from the challenger boy, that side looks here. Wonderful, doesn't it? Fukuisan? Wow, yes, Ota. I asked the challenger about this soup, and she said I thought this winter melon would make a beautiful decorative bowl to display and serve another soup that I decided to make that the princess had taught me. It's an asparagus and chicken soup made with crab. All right, did she bring that in? What a carving and a serving presentation. And now back with Kobe, three minutes left. Right oh, here. Them. Yeah, also grilling the crab. So we're going to mm -hmm. have two sets of grilled crabs here. Okay, both with grilled crabs, but Kobe's got less than three minutes now to get that crab grilled and off and prepared for serving, and he's taking it to the limit one more Squeeze time. On. Yes. The Thai ambassador in the royal box says that the challenger's dishes look great, but he feels bad that she has to be so rushed. He says they're behind her 100% and to keep going. All right, but she is scurrying around the kitchen. At least she must feel encouraged by those words from the Thai ambassador. Now can she close out the deal? That's the question for Sakai. Oh, the presentation's so pretty, too. And the Iron Chef, wow, looking good right here. This is his pasta. Yeah, the homemade pasta dish looks great. Pasta with the crab meat sauce. Ota? Ota? One minute to go. All right, we'll wait and see. One minute left, the final 60 seconds. The Iron Chef Italian and Royal Thai Cuisine Challenger are battling to the finish. Boy, this is going to be a tough one. Ooh, check it out there. Crab and melon in soup. This from the Iron Chef. Okay, now he put the grilled crab on this one. Yes, the grilled crab in the melon ring right there. Dynamic, a bold statement by Kobe. And that's his cool lasagna with a spoonful of caviar strategically placed on top. Less than 30 seconds now. Both chefs are frantic. Will all their dishes make it in time? There's his pasta sitting pretty while he is sweating up a storm. Meanwhile, she is making a last move with the soup. The final seconds ticking down. She nods her approval, and that's it. The cooking's done. The blue crab battle is over. Not enough time? Yes. Well, one royal dish can easily take up to one hour. I see. But I just wanted to show everyone in Japan how wonderful royal Thai cuisine really is. So uh -huh. I was doing everything I can, I can imagine, to do my best. Yes. Your dishes look like they turned out yes. well, though. Well, I managed to make them on time, yes. Now I want the panel to enjoy the taste. A quick hour? It took too long to prepare the crabs. Not much time left to really cook them. But you're satisfied with the results, right? I think I succeeded in, in making quality Italian cuisine, yes. Now, can you beat the royal cuisine? Oh, you'd need the king to decide that.
Challenger Sakai is offering six dishes. First, hot and sour crab soup, tom yam pu, a modification of the famous tom yam kun soup. The crab meat sparkles in this traditional Thai hot and sour soup. Second, steamed blue crab and noodles. The noodles have absorbed the flavor of the crab and are further accentuated by her use of Thai herbs for this dish. Third is crab and green papaya salad. The sweetness of crab meat, garlic, and the gentle flavor of sliced green papaya create a royal harmony in the taster's mouth. Fourth is cold jasmine rice. Cooled by ice, it's a must-have item for a royal dinner during the summertime. It comes with onions stuffed with crab meat, oyster meatballs, stuffed sweet peppers with a crispy fried egg coating, and stir-fried pickles flavored with crab meat. Fifth is grilled blue crab, an eye-catching dish that pulls out the natural flavor of blue crab. The red chili and nam is the perfect dipping sauce for the crab meat. Last is white asparagus soup, a specialty of Princess Sita that does justice to the beautiful carving of the winter melon bowl. Iron Chef Kobe has four dishes. First, blue crab hors d'oeuvre, an artistic presentation for his starting dish. Two items here. One, a rice croquette with crab meat, and the other, crab salad flavored with consomme jelly. It's a truly inventive dish from the Iron Chef. Second, cold lasagna salad, a Kobe original for summer. Steamed and sauteed crab meat, brains, pasta, and avocado sandwiched mill few fashion with caviar on top and raspberry sauce around. Third is crab sauce pasta. The sauce is exquisite with condensed crab meat flavor. Every element of the crab is utilized to heighten the experience for the tasters. Last is winter melon soup with grilled crab. The winter melon absorbing the essence of the crab is awesome and the char broiled crab inside the melon ring brings a sea breeze to the soup. Thai cuisine fit for a king. Today's challenger, Miyoko Sakai, learned preparation of royal dishes from Thailand's Princess Sita. She'll show her stuff against Iron Chef Italian Masahiko Kobe, the Prince of Pasta. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient. It's blue crab and an edge to the challenger. Running with the theme, challenger Sakai prepares six dishes. Quality, not quantity, Iron Chef Kobe responds with four. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. Joining the panel today to taste, not judge, is Thailand's ambassador to Japan. The rest of the panel, photographer Tenmei Kano, actress Kayako Kishimoto, pro soccer player Nobuhiro Takeda, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, Challenger Sakai's dishes. Tom Yum Kun is famous. I tried to make a crab version of that. I'm satisfied with the outcome and using the crab successfully in this soup. I feel like the soup is automatically sucked into my throat. <laughs> this is very good. This tastes much lighter than I thought. I was expecting a heavier taste. Mm. This hot and sour soup, now I know why it is said to be one of the three best soups in the world. Very good. The essence of the crab is absorbed in the noodles. I think you will enjoy it. Yes, it's very good. I must commend Mrs. Sakai for a very good preparation. I was amazed that the noodles maintained their texture after all that cooking. This flavor is a first for me. I really enjoyed it. Compared with the crab dishes I'm used to, perhaps this is too heavy. I see your point. This should be eaten with yes, rice. Yes, with rice. Mm. And now comes the rice in ice, finished by the challenger pouring jasmine water into it. His Excellency is using a spoon and a fork. That's actually the proper way to eat this. We athletes have to eat to maintain stamina during the summer. I think this is a great way of eating rice. 
Putting a dumpling in ice water is unheard of in Japan, but this is so soothing and sophisticated. This is a new way of enjoying rice. So intriguing. Great culture, I think. You can even try to replace some of the ingredients and enjoy your own assortment, I think. It's a new approach. The princess gave me the recipes for this soup. The soft asparagus and the sweet crab meat, a very pleasant combination in my mouth. I like this. The saltiness is just right. I don't know how you suppress the smell of the crab. This soup is perfect. This was the first time I've had a full-course Thai dinner, and I always thought it would be too spicy for me. But everything was very sophisticated, and all of it was good. Yeah. I would recommend Mrs. Sakai for the cow chair, the the cow, the rice on ice. It was very nice. Now Iron Chef Kobe steps up to the panel. I wanted to prepare crab dishes for a summer dinner. Yes. With this one, I used the refreshing taste of the okra and the sweetness of the crab meat. In the rice croquette, it has tomatoes and mozzarella cheese in it. This is entertaining in its very appearance. It's very good. Thank you, ma'am. This croquette is perfect, especially if you like fried food. The rice in it is very nice, too. It's fried, but I can understand his intention to make it lighter for us to eat. Inside, I have avocados and mayonnaise. This is also very good. Um, it speaks for its personality. Very creative, I think. Mm -hmm. It's uh, refreshing and good. I'm surprised that the raspberry sauce matches with this. I was wondering when he was preparing what it was, but now I'm happy to be able to taste it. Very tasty. Thank you. This is hand-rolled pasta in a crab meat sauce. I'm sold. The sauce is awesome, the profound crab flavor and the texture of the pasta is wonderful. I'm totally sold. This is too good. The sauce is great and it's easy to eat. Very easy. We look for how profound the taste is, how flavors are combined in the dishes. He did a great job on this one, I think. I call it a masterpiece. Very good. Thank you. My intention with this soup is to have the winter melon absorb the flavor of the crab. I wish you'd added another twist to the flavor for a little more impact. Ah. That's just my opinion. I think this is very good. It has a gentle sweetness, but has a strong body at the same time. Yeah? It's very simple, yet noble in a way, and very creative, I think. The soup is very good, too. All of the dishes allowed me to enjoy the blue crab in different, different ways, and everything was very nice. Both chefs are into praise. Which one gets the W? The verdict, moments away. Today in Kitchen Stadium, Blue Crab provided us a rare opportunity to experience the heart of royal Thai cuisine. Challenger Sakai with recipes from the Thai princess allowed us to be king for a meal. But the Prince of Pasta is royalty in his own right, and Iron Chef Kobe rose to the occasion. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef. Kobe gets the W. Victorious in this battle of blue crab, taking on the challenge of Thai royal cuisine and coming out on top. And very gracious in his victory over challenger Miyoko Sakai. A gallant effort by her today. Before the Thai ambassador, she acquitted herself well. Now, let's check the scoring. Kano, 1917, the Iron Chef. Kishimoto, 1817, Iron Chef. Close there. Takeda, 1715, the Iron Chef. And another close one, Hosoki, 1615, the Iron Chef. Tally it up, it's a sweep for Kobe. 
he rolls his own pasta and he himself is on a roll. The winning streak stretches to four. Iron Chef Italian Masahiko Kobe.